What's up guys, it's CJ from SmartKTai.com. So the Motorola Droid Bionic is Verizon's first Android smartphone to combine the power of a dual-core processor with 4G LTE data speeds, making it one speedy device. Now I happen to be in an area where LTE has been deployed for a while, so let's go ahead and run a speed test or two on the Droid Bionic to see if the device and network are in fact blazing fast like they claim. So as you can see, we have the Droid Bionic and the speedtest.net application loaded up. We'll go ahead and run the test for the first time now. And keep in mind that speeds may vary depending on your location. Uh, some markets don't even have LTE, but I, leap, but I believe Verizon's 4G LTE network does cover over 160 million Americans. So it's pretty vast in its current state. All right, so first run is going pretty well here. We have 21 megabits per second down. That's almost double what I have for my home uh, internet connection. So very fast there. And then 5.57 megabits per second up. So we'll run it again. See if we can uh, get a consistent uh, score here. All right, so this time around we get uh, Something more modest, 19.58 megabits per second down. Still very fast and 5.4 megabits per second up. Um, now I've noticed in my area, uh, I get on average in the mid to high teens. So sometimes it'll go up above 20, maybe once uh, every three tries or so. We'll run it one more time. Also keep in mind that I'm running this indoors. So very, very fast connection even uh, when you're behind some walls. Uh, much better than Sprint's uh, 4G WiMAX network, which I have, I've had lots of difficulty with running indoors. Uh, the connection just doesn't stay, stay there because of the walls, and the speeds just aren't very fast. So LTE is a much better uh, network in my opinion. And we'll run it one last time again. All right, so it's above 20 this time. Oh, dropped down to 19 and it's back up to 20. So very sp very fast speeds there. We'll let the uh, upload speeds finish off there. So 8.1 8 up. And we'll go to results. So you can see the different kinds of speeds I've been getting throughout the day. So 27, 26, 25, 24, 23. So lots of 20s as you can see. Uh, and then if you go down here, it's in the high teens, and then it drops down to mid teens. The lowest I've seen is around 10 or nine megabits per second. Still respectable speeds. Uh, and you probably won't even notice unless you're trying to uh, download or upload something. All right, guys, so now we're going to use the Droid Bionic to tether that 4G LTE connection over to this Galaxy Tab 10.1 uh, tablet. So we're going to wirelessly connect the two devices using Verizon's mobile hotspot application, uh, which you can purchase uh, for an additional uh, cost on your plan. So let's go ahead and check to make sure it's connected. As you can see, Verizon Droid Bionic, it is in fact connected and will start the speedtest.net application. So you can see much slower speeds here uh, when you're connected wirelessly, uh, especially when you're piggybacking uh, off of the phone. So seven megabits per second down. Let's see what we get for the upload speeds. So a lot slower there as well. So 4.7 up, and we'll run that one last time. And I'll even zoom in on that for you guys. So about the same, near seven. Oh, there we go, it hits seven megabits per second down. So this was a speed test of Verizon's 4G LTE network using the Motorola Droid Bionic. I think the results speak for themselves. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Droid Bionic coverage coming soon.